what's the true cost of the elections? Um, I was sat here this morning, I'm just having a cup of tea, it's 4am, I've literally just got out having a cup of tea and then going back to bed. But I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, the US is spending a ridiculous amount of money. Um, I know a celebrity came out the other day, uh, I can, I'm terrible with names because I don't do celebrities, um, so I can't tell you who it was. <laughs> but he was on about he'd raised an obscene amount of money. Um, but I have to question what is being exchanged for this money? Um, because corporations and stuff don't do nothing for free. They don't treat their employees most of the time very well. So why would they be giving away money? Um, so there's obviously been exchanges being made for the future. And the other problem with that is they're doing both sides. It doesn't matter who's going to be in power. They're going to push through whatever they wanted in the first place. Because they've already agreed on it to put the money up. Um, that's why there's so many lobbyists in Washington. It, it should be outlawed. <laughs> Um, we've got the same in the UK, to be honest, same problem, and we're currently experiencing the Tories with a bit of bad bookkeeping relating to some Tory bus they were floating around the UK with. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure, if people wanted to dig further, there'd be more stuff in there. Um, but let's be honest, you need people to actually be good journalists, and getting good journalism these days is an expensive game. But also, most of the media is owned by a certain tycoon. So, he's got no interest in chasing it. But then you've got things like the Philippines. There's people releasing millions of pesos worth of buses for running people for elections. You've got helicopters being used, etc. That our government or private use either way it's being taken out of the taxpayer somewhere it has to be um but i'll leave that for the philippine stuff but they're spending a lot of money there you have to wonder where it's coming from um but i'll give you an example of something that i remember from a few years back which was mugabe out in zimbabwe um the old british Rhodesia. Now, the interesting thing with Mugabe is the UK has interfered in that country a lot more than people realise. There was the Rhodesian military force that used to be part of the old British Empire. They were looking to overthrow that government a long time ago, and it was the British that tipped them off with the Secret Service. Um, that the the former, should we call them, actually, I don't, you can't really call them white masters, so such let's just say the um white residents were actually going to put a military force back in to overthrow the existing government um after the british left etc and that was all helped to not happen by the uh, secret service mi6 um but then when mugabe was losing power uh i would have been it's a few years back now. But basically what happened is he hadn't paid the military for months. He hadn't paid the police for months. And basically the country was on the verge of collapse. Because you got to bear in mind, people suffering is not the verge of collapse for a country. If you've got a strong enough military force, um, you can let people starve. doesn't really matter. Um, the problem he had, he hadn't paid the people that enforce his will. And it was coming up to the election times and they were expecting things to change because they had been paid, so they're not too keen on actually helping him. But then a British company stepped forward with $100 million in exchange for mining rights. You probably know as well as a link of him hating the British companies and they're mining etc and threatened to throw them out a few times is because that money is how he won the election that money is also what kept him in power that money was an exchange for mining 
that shows that the UK has been playing those games for a long period of time and still at it. But at the same time, these are the sort of influences that can determine a government and what the government does. Because these rights, so yeah, rights, because they paid for it, um, have been agreed in advance. So in some of the expenditure for UK, US, Philippines, wherever, there's been some sort of transaction that's been an agreement um, through lobbying or whatever. Now, I'm not saying all lobbying is legal. I'm not saying all lobbying is illegal. But people don't give up money for free. But also you've got money that's appeared from other sources through exploitation and pilfering um, from being in power currently. And that's why, you know, whatever you're voting, ask where the money comes from. I'm not asking asking you to ask a politician. If you can get a, get the truth out of a politician, you'll be the first person in in, in history. Um, but what I'm asking is ask yourself, what is it going to cost you? Um, because going to war, for example, the benefit is to military contractors. The war on drugs, the benefit is to war contractors. The drug war, as such, the cost of the actual drugs is insignificant in in relation to relationship to the amount it's spent on the war. Um, in the same as Afghanistan, Iraq, etc. The, the amount spent on it is way above what the reality is of the impact. Um, yeah, see, it's hard not to go into bigger details with it because you have to expand it all out. Um, but you will find that there's a paper trail of people that have been in power and end up in dubious jobs. Um, but also there's a paper trail of people that have exchanged things for getting power which is where things don't change. If anything, everything's been on a slippery slope for a long period of time now. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, because I don't see things improving. Because it's not in anybody's interest. You don't matter. I don't matter. We're just the people that they're, they're telling us they represent. But we don't matter. They don't care. They're not doing it because they want to be good people. They're doing it for the money. Um, and they've created these little niches that stop people rising to the top. The UK is the same. This is why this is what I'm saying. You know, this isn't actually targeted at any single country. This is the fact that democracy is bought and paid for. Um, democracy leads to Demon demonocracy as said by Plato he was right <laughs> we've got stagnation this is why um, I think some of these people that are currently rising to the top it doesn't matter if they're good or bad leaders the fact is they don't follow the same pattern this is why you know people are going oh the dirty in the, the Philippines a lot of it is just because he's simply different um, the US with Trump is because he's different the UK we don't have anybody we have nobody there's nobody who represents the people um, if you look at Boris you know people he, Boris got into the London mayor job because Red Ken was an idiot um, people detested Red Ken and they just voted Boris in because he he was more of a clown I mean he's not I mean he's not a stupid guy but at the same time he's a bit of a bumbling guy but He's exactly the same as all the others because they all went to Eton. You know, the. Um... <laughs> it's just bizarre. Um, I mean, even on the Labour Party, it's, it's just as bad. 
Because when you look at people like Corbyn and his ex-girlfriend, I can't remember her name, um, but they're telling us that our kids should go to public schools. Um, I say public, but I want to define public in the UK. It's not the public I'm talking about. Public in the UK means private schools. But what I'm talking about is a comprehensive, um, which is your schools paid for by your taxes, Joe Public Schools. Um, that's why it gets confusing. It, if I said comprehensive, though, it may not mean anything to anybody either. So I'm talking about schools which are state-run schools for everybody um, as part of your tax system. They want you to send your kids there. They don't send their kids there, though. This is supposed to be the Labour Party that represents the the working classes of the United Kingdom that send their own kids to private school, and they are privately educated as well. Um, but school's good enough for you. Um, <laughs> that's how representative the UK is. This is why these people are so out of touch with reality. It's not funny. But what can you do to change it? Run for government yourself. How do you run for government? You need money. Where do you get the money from? Back to square one. Lobbying. <laughs> Thanks for watching.